Hey Dragon Slayers, today's video is about cancer and its connection to insulin resistance. Cancer is the second leading cause of death in the United States, although it's making a strong play to overtake heart disease as killer number one. Cancers can affect any organ. Breast and prostate cancers are the most common in women and men, respectively, and lung cancer is the deadliest. Despite over 160 billion being spent every single year to cure cancer in the US with a global economic burden of roughly $1.2 trillion, ever more people are dying. Clearly, this investment isn't paying off. Cancers have different possible causes. While the general consensus is that cancer results from genetic mutations or gene damage, increasing evidence challenges this conclusion. Perhaps cancer isn't a disease of genetics, but rather metabolism. Though it's controversial, the metabolic paradigm isn't without significant supporting data, some of which began a century ago. Regardless of its specific cause, cancer is a disease of cellular growth. Certain cells begin to multiply uncontrollably, and insulin resistance is part of this equation because it pushes cancer cells to grow faster. And insulin resistance is so unbelievable because it really affects every single part of this process. Um, with insulin resistance, we have a perfect storm involving two primary ingredients which are which helps cancer cells thrive first cancer cells seem to have a sweet tooth they love glucose now normally our cells are washed in a constant supply of glu of nutrients because our bodies don't want our cells to proliferate unchecked we have a natural control system in place Healthy cells don't take in nutrients unless they're specifically told to do so by substances called growth factors. When they get the signal, normal cells take in nutrients and rely on enzymes to burn them, thereby releasing energy that becomes our body's fuel. This energy creation process takes place inside our cell's mitochondria. However, cancer cells actually rewire the metabolism to get their energy in a different way. Almost a hundred years ago, the German physician and scientist Otto Henrik Warburg discovered that cancer cells have an almost total reliance on glucose and that their primary metabolic fuel, and it's basically their primary metabolic fuel. Moreover, Warburg's research indicated that instead of using their mitochondria to break down the glucose, they do, they do so outside of the mitochondria, without the need of oxygen. The technical term for this is anaerobic glycolysis. We now refer to this phenomena as the Warburg effect. This critical deviation from the normal allows cancer cells to grow rapidly everywhere in the body, including locations that might not adequately blood flow. Second, as you know by now, with insulin resistance, blood insulin levels are elevated. When you appreciate that one of insulin's main action is to cause cells to grow, you can easily appreciate the predicament. Insulin's anabolic effects also work to increase the growth of cancer cells, especially if the cancer cell has made itself more sensitive to insulin than to normal cells. Thus, while the white blood, while the high blood insulin is sending signals for fat cells to grow, any cancer cells that have mutated to become more sensitive to insulin are growing far more rapidly than normal thanks to this boost from insulin. To further emphasize insulin's relevance in cancer, one of the most studied aspects of cancer is something called the insulin-like growth factor one. This protein, like insulin, promotes general growth in the body. 
that's usually a good thing, but it is also a common feature of many cancers. The combination of these two signals, glucose and insulin, is essential to understanding why people with hyperinsulinemia, whether they are lean or fat, have roughly doubled the likelihood of dying from cancer. What's worse is that breast, prostate, and colorectal cancers have stronger relevance to insulin resistance. That's what I've got for you guys today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And remember guys, that together, you and I will slay the dreaded diabetes dragon.